a bloody and a protracted conflict or a media hype or is it a diversion is the usa supporting the democracy or is something else i will be telling you the most important points which mainstream media will try to hide from you ukraine's kindergarten was a false flag operation or a real attack my name is sebi kasmi and you are watching the conflict times if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so ukraine's issue is still going on the us the uk wanted the world to believe that it is real Yes, not, I, my sense this will happen in the next several days. Look at this thing. Are there any diplomatic paths still available? Yes, there is. It is not a media hype. It is not a diversion. And they want to help the democracy. But Russian spokesperson quote Maria Zakharova. She said very differently. I would like to request the UK and the US media outlets to publish the schedule for our upcoming invasion for the year. I would like to plan my vacations. This isn't funny. Seems like the Russians had enough with the Western media provoking them to attack on Ukraine. And when you open the newspaper, it seems like the invasion has already started and the angels are surrounded around the Ukrainians to help them. Is the US restoring the democracy? The simple answer is no. Warmongers are trying to help the democracy. It is a flat lie. Ukraine itself is not a democratic country. a country with dictatorship style of a semi presidential system do they have a freedom of speech in ukraine absolutely not ukraine's president has shut down three tv stations and many journalists are suffering attacks and threats against journalists is very common in ukraine they are nowhere near in the press freedom list not far from russia like russia president has imprisoned the head of political party and their members who are the second largest party in Ukraine aren't there similar charges to Putin and the other dictators around the world absolutely yes so it is clear it's not about democracy so now the question arises why are they doing it is it a real diversion now let's hear the news of this recent attack first and then we will talk about how the US UK are using as a diversion to save their own government Ukrainian military sources said that Russian separatist fired at least 32 mortars into their territory including the ones which hit the kindergarten and the school now the barrage was its most intense between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. 9 a.m. but it was continuous ukraine said it has received incoming fire but had not fired back the separatists claimed the ukrainians fire had it hit eight inside houses Pictures circulated on social media showed what appeared to be a shell hole through the wall of a yellow painted nursery classroom in Strifton Lushank that's the eastern part of Ukraine children escaped without any injury but two teachers were reported to have suffered cuts and bruises in this blast now let's hear the real facts there are a number of reason why the US is trying this issue as a diversion but at the cost of american wallet The first one is the petrol prices. Remember, the Russia is the second largest oil producer in the world, behind only the US. Supply is already failing to keep up the demand and investors are on a high alert for any further supply shortfall that could occur. The US is trying to put pressure on Russia in a variety of ways, for example, through Saudi Arabia, UAE to increase the supply of oil up to 10 million barrels per day. sanctions on russia or moscow moving to weaponize the export but what they are not considering the oil prices will go even higher the warnings are 120 dollars or even 150 dollars per barrel if russian exports are disrupted now the current price is less than 100 per barrel but the most important point is joe biden administration has failed so far in a massive social spending and a climate change bill which they promised in election and of course the skyrocketing deficit the us economy is struggling from a restaurant meal to an apartment rent consumer prices have been climbing at the fastest pace in 40 years the largest increase since 1982 and the fourth and the most important point these are pressure tactics to control gas prices that's another tool joe biden has been using to put pressure on the countries to ensure they are meeting the supply demand principle now the saudis are the part of opec a consortium of oil producing countries 
that includes Russia and they set oil prices. But Saudi Arabia is not helping the Biden's campaign to increase global output. So the pressure tactics are, have to be in place. U.S. is already a part of the Yemen conflict, aiding UAE and Saudis under the banner of U.S.-led coalition. Both of them are the major oil exporters, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. And both of them aren't democratic countries either. Russia and Saudi Arabia are the second largest oil producer, their alliance to control the oil prices. Biden administration has failed to convince Saudi Arabia to increase the supply, but seems like they aren't interested as they are listening to the Russians' coalition. This is why the two conflicts are required in the world in which these two countries, Saudi Arabia and Russia, have to be involved. But this is not to restore, to help the democracy, but their own lust agenda and needs to be fulfilled. I am Sebi Kazmi, and you're watching Conflict Times. See you next time.